What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. You might remember that there was a video on my channel not too long ago where I got a bunch of brochures. I, I think I showed off a Collins brochure in that video. Um, but th there were a bunch of brochures and these are two of the brochures that are in there. The Bluebird CV200 uh, by GM. So we're going to take a look at these two brochures. They're fairly similar uh, and let's take a look at them. So we're going to start with this one. This is the older of the two and I'll just show you around it. So obviously Bluebird CV200 uh, on the GMC chassis. Uh, we have three options. We have diesel gas and natural gas and then the Bluebird logo up here. So fairly standard spec uh, Bluebird right here. Nothing too out of the ordinary. And uh, yeah, taking a look at the back right here. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at the specs here in a second, but this was in 1994, and that's all I wanted to point out right now. So, anyways, let's open it up and take a look inside. So, this is the inside of the brochure. It's got uh, the picture of the bus, uh, I assume unloading at school, and uh, just a little snippet up here that we will take a look at real quick. The Bluebird CV200 offers more choices than any other conventional bus, so we're talking about uh, the different engines right here and the different options. Uh, let's see, the obvious choice for the chassis is the Rugged B7 by GM, which is the chassis that they used, specifically designed for Bluebird. Uh, the B7 is sturdy, reliable. Uh, and has a foundation that lives up to Bluebird's uh, standards for strength and then safety, service, reliability. There's really only one real choice, the CV200 conventional school bus from Bluebird. So, uh, Anyways, taking a look over here, so I'm going to come back to the doors, but just notice that they are uh, outward opening. And then this right here, I marked a couple things in here. If you look closely... It says unleaded fuel only, so this would be a gas-powered bus right here. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And there is a lot of stuff on the back here. Um, we're, we're starting off with the engines. We have the uh, standard um, uh, GM gas engine. We have a Cat 3116 and a uh, natural gas uh, engine and one other thing just just uh, so it's out there I will be posting pictures of both of these brochures on Flickr so if you're not able to see this uh, that well go over to my Flickr link is in the description and you can see more there so uh, just kind of talking about the chassis itself talking about uh, you know just standard chassis things now, this right here, the safety and strength features, take a look at this first one right here. Bluebird Jackknife Entrance Door. Now, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that since this was in 1994, that was the uh, standard. So, we have the jackknife door right here, uh, and we have the outward opening door on this one. Can't tell what that one is. It looks to be a jackknife door, and uh, yeah. So, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that that was... The standard jackknife makes sense uh, a two-step non-skid step well the emergency door opening uh, is 53 and a half inches by 38 uh, just some pretty standard stuff nothing too interesting over here uh, we'll start up here and then durability uh, body parts thoroughly rust proofed after fabrication before assembly someone's gonna have to check that because uh, I don't have to deal with rust. <laughs> right, Noah? So, uh, one other thing, we have the chrome-plated emergency door handle, so that's a nice touch right there. So, serviceability features, just some pretty standard stuff in here, nothing too outrageous. Uh, drivability features, same thing. And then comfort and convenience features, 74-inch headroom, roof-mounted static ventilator, uh, double-sliding driver's window, with a defroster interior dome lights so that's the back of this one that's this whole brochure so we'll go ahead and take a look at this other brochure now it's a little bit newer i don't remember when exactly it's uh, 2000 so we'll see uh that this brochure is a little bit bigger uh interesting thing right here this actually comes from midwest transit so that's uh that's interesting 
I don't think I have any other Midwest things, so uh, not too much on the back here, pretty standard. And uh, let's take a look at this one. So I gotta say, I like the front of this brochure better, but I do like how it has this little side thing over here. I like that, so. All right, opening up the brochure to the first page right here. I don't remember what brochure it is off the top of my mind, but I know I have other Bluebird brochures that start off uh, like this with a picture of the bus over here and then a description right here. So, uh, a conventional school bus that's anything but. It's the ultimate school bus body mounted on the ultimate chassis, again, the B7 chassis. It's the strength of Bluebird combined with the reliability of GM. It's a CV200 conventional school bus, and there's nothing conventional about it. I care to differ, but thanks to an exclusive manufacturing agreement, the CV200 is the only bus to merge uh, Bluebird's famous, unitized, all-steel school bus body with GM's uh, proven B7 chassis. Add in a choice of, again, the V8 gas uh cat diesel or alternative fuel engines and the result is a truly unique school bus that's simply unrivaled for durability safety and visibility so you know i i th this has me thinking now let's see it's unrivaled for those three right there but you got to remember in 2000 bluebird was also making the bluebird 3800 so i really want to see how those two differed like, which one would have been more durable, safer, and um, not really diverse, but um, yeah, so just, just kind of something to think about, but all right, coming in on the inside of the bus, a lot, or uh, inside of the, the brochure, a lot of the stuff in here is just stuff on the back of here uh, with some pictures, so I'll show you real quick. First off, over here, we have the uh, chassis itself and things pointed out on the chassis, Right there, that is the uh, uh, the gas engine option. Let's see. Starting our way up here, we have the frame. Energy absorbing steering wheel column saves lives from frontal impact situations. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, let's see. Standard synthetic lubricated Eaton rear, rear axle uh, includes special seals to prevent leakage. The driver's area of the CV200 enjoys a wide field of vision and easy access to all the controls, so pretty much the standard Bluebird interior at the time. An exclusive modular electrical center virtually eliminates all fused links, so there's that right there. The multi-piece design of the tilt-forward engine hood includes bolt-on flexible fenders, which I don't think I pointed it out, but it was pointed out in this right there so that's flexible so interesting note my brochure about fell off uh, let's see durable front axles smooth riding parabolic front springs outlive multi-leaf springs by three to one wow the exclusive side flow uh, aluminum radiator has fiber reinforced nylon tanks and last but not least spring loaded radiator hose clamps prevent spillage of hazardous liquids so there's that and let's flip to the next page. Really, this page over here um, is the back but of the other one. So starting over here, I'll, I'll just point this out since we've already had pretty much, there, there's nothing different on here really, except for this right here. Easy to operate outward opening entrance door. So I don't know when Bluebird would have switched from offering uh, standard outward opening doors to or standard jackknife doors to standard outward opening doors but um it was obviously between 94 and 2000 so i want to say it was like 97 i think or 96 but could be wrong so otherwise like i said pretty much the same thing over here on this page as was on the back so so just taking a look over here we have pretty much the same picture it looks like even though they are different you can tell um that obviously that's an outward opening door that's a jackknife but um otherwise it looks fairly similar so i guess it's just their standard that they made and then uh, again here to the outward opening door my post will come off so it improves driver convenience by placing the door uh, control closer to the driver and reducing the uh, effort to operate and really, it, 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 it is easier 
to operate a outward opening door than a jackknife door. I've experienced doing the Bluebird outward opening um, doors and jackknife doors, so I can confirm that they are easier to do. So, uh, Another thing down here, this is kind of an interesting picture. The CV200's floor construction features 14-gauge galvanized steel that is reinforced at the joint with uh, 1 8 of an inch steel flat bar and 3 16 of an inch angle iron welded and riveted for strength. But really, just look at this picture. That's kind of, uh, that. that's the cool thing that I wanted to point out there. And then the last thing I, I remembered when I was talking about the door is the safe latch handle on door control. I didn't know that that had a name, but for those of you who don't know, in order to open a Bluebird door, you have to pull up on the handle and then move the door, uh, the door handle, in order to open up the door. So Thomas has it to where uh, you kind of flip up a little little mechanism, and I think IC does the same thing as well. Um, Wayne had it to where you would have to pull it a little bit harder, and on older Thomases you had a little thing where you would push down with your uh, with your wrist in order to open the door. So everyone has had it. Everyone has done different things, but I just didn't know that it was called Safe Latch on Bluebird. So, uh, that's that. And, yeah. So, otherwise, there's not much to it. Like I said, I'll post pictures of these on Flickr so that you're able to look at a more uh, in-depth view of these if you choose to. Again, the link to my Flickr page is down below. Uh, go check it out. So, Anyways, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down here, where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up, or the safe latch handle is not, it's just not going to exist, and the doors are going to be flying open all the time. And to make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So, yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching.